quick question, Brandon. It's it's being recorded, so can it be sent to me later? Because I have to step out. I have a client to deal with. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. All righty, everybody. My name is Brandon Winter, gold and triple silver consultant here with Evolution. Um, we are going to go over Universal Studios, how to book, um, and then also the partner perks with it as well. So it's going to be kind of a two-part um, training here. So first, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways to get into VAX to be able to actually book you through Universal, okay? Um, <clears throat> If you've been in vacation access before, this is gonna be your home and your landing page. You can go through your reservations, offerings, incentives, all these up at the top. But to get to Universal specifically, you go to suppliers, Universal parks and resorts vacations. What this is gonna do is take you directly to Universal's page. So you can either do Florida or you can do Hollywood. For this particular training, we're gonna do Orlando. I was just there in June, it was wonderful, had such a good time. Totally bummed though, because the Velocicoaster was only open to season passes and I didn't have a season pass yet, so I didn't get to ride it. So next time I go back, totally have to check that out because I'm a huge, huge coaster person. I love roller coasters. They don't love me and with my body and the older that I'm getting, but I don't care because I do it anyway. Um, so <clears throat> there's a few things whenever you're booking Universal. So first and foremost, um, Disney and Universal are so confusing to people for some reason and I think it's because when people think of Disney they think of like all you know the um the magic in the world right and all the different little things and so Harry Potter sometimes somehow for whatever reason Harry Potter gets lumped into um Disney and so when people like I just went in June with a friend of mine and she was dead set on going to Disney and the more we talked about it she really just wanted to go to um the Harry Potter world and to see Harry Potter and I said well if that's the case then we don't really need to do Disney we actually need to go to Universal so um always just make sure you're asking questions getting all the details everything you know that you um are going to be needing for your client because it just saves some time in the long run as well okay um also so when you're coming into um the vacation access portion, there's going to be different vacation packages, there's going to be different promotions, um, there's going to be like this one is save up to 700, you have save up to 600, we have a three park vacation starting from $105 a night, and then we have 30% off a four day four night vacation. So another reason to ask all your questions first is to know which of these drop down package type is going to be our best option here. You know, if we've got someone who wants to go for seven days versus four days, well, then the four day, four night, you know, 30% off promotion is not going to work because it has to be a four day package. Um, another thing to remember is that a lot of our packages are going to be a minimum of three or four days. Um, usually four is what I've seen, but seven is also a common number as well. So um, just be sure to ask all your questions. Check to see if they're a Florida resident or not. Um, if you need theme park tickets and features only, that is its own option here. So we're going to go through that here a minute um, later on as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, the 30% vacation package. And I believe this one was the four day, right? So four day, four night vacation package. So if we do five nights, it's not going to come up. It's going to give us an error. So we're going to say that we're departing from Nashville. Obviously, we're going into Orlando. We're going to have two adults, two children. We're going to do one room. And we're going to do eight and 10 for the ages. Um, let's go from the 13th and then we need four nights, right? So we might as well just let it populate for us and let's hit search. Bear with facts. It is obviously going through a lot of stuff, especially with this one being air, you know, we're going to be looking at hotels, ticket features, air, et cetera. So it's going to take just a little bit to get everything coming up here. It's automatically going to select a flight for you. It's just, it's just how it is. The flight will automatically come up. Um, and then it's going to default directly to your hotel. I stayed at the Dockside Inn and Suites. It's a beautiful property. Dockside and Surfside are kind of like a uh, complex, essentially. You have Surfside on one side of the road, Dockside on the other side of the road. There are shuttles that literally are going from the resort to the park. I think it's like three to four to five an hour. I mean, there, it's, there, it feels like there was constantly a bus there. Um, so really, I mean, you can get there pretty much anytime you want. It's just a matter of time, a matter of minutes usually. Um, you can also do Cabana Bay. 
Um, they're, um, if I'm not mistaken, we can do partner, let's see. Um, so for this particular trip and this particular promotion, this is gonna give us the three properties here. Um, early park admission is available for any and all properties, uh, resort properties of Universal. So if it's um, one of their hotels or one of their resorts, you're going to have early park admission. It's a given, it's there, right? Um, but you also wanna look at view all promotions too, because if there is something specific, like some of your re um, resorts will offer free fast passes. Some resorts offer um, like Cabana Bay gives free um, entrance to Cabana Bay um, or Volcano Bay gives the early um, admission. And then um, I think that's one that does the um, fast passes as well or express passes. So always look at your promotion, see what's going on, see what's there. Um, you can change your room types here. Um, you can see unavailable rooms. So like someone asked you, they're like, well, why do I want to see an unavailable room? Well, if you have a client who is literally calling you to see if you can get them a better deal or whatever the case may be, and they're telling you, well, I've got this particular room type and you're trying to go apples for apples versus apples to oranges, it's important to know that, yes, they are seeing a two-bedroom suite pool view. They're not just telling you that just because, whereas you're like, well, no, I don't see that as an option, you know? So, um, just always keep that in mind. But you can look at your hotel details, all of your information here. If you're familiar with VACs in general, this is going to be very common, um, you know, and, and very um, similar to pretty much any time you book anything. Uh, but notice here, complimentary transportation from theme parks to city walk. That's the buses or the shuttles that I was talking about. Um, one thing that I will tell you is Universal does not have transportation to and from the airport complimentary. So keep that in mind. Do not leave your pay, your clients stranded at the airport. <laughs> Make sure that you look at um, transportation for them. Okay, guys. Um, so for um, this particular exercise, we're going to leave our current reservation here at Dockside instead of changing it to a different resort. Um, if we need, let's see, then we're going to come into our flight details, right? So um, always make sure, you know, time of day, like if you've got a flight leaving at 7 a.m. and not getting until 11 p.m. at night or something like that, you know, think about this. Is that what you would want to do if this was your vacation? You know, because if you're not getting in until see 8 p.m. here, well, then that whole first day is gone, right? Um, so just keep that in mind. Um <clears throat> What I really want to look at here is once we get through our flight details, is our features, okay? So notice this, per, this particular promotion um, is that four-day park-to-park vacation package. It is a dated ticket. The difference between dated and flexible is usually a little bit of price difference. Um, but this will, the, the, the dated part just tells you when that ticket can be used. Whereas if you do a flexible ticket, it can be any four days. Like let's say they're staying for seven days, but they only want to do four days at the park. They don't have to solidify or, you know, Garrett or like state exactly what day they're going to be there or what day they want to go to the parks, but they can start their four days at the parks at any time while they're there. Just remember once they go to the park for the first day, that starts their clock or their countdown to be able to use those other four days. So if they say, you know, we're flying in on Sunday, but we might be seeing family on Sunday and Monday, we might not want to go till Tuesday, but we might do Tuesday as a beach day, we might not go till Wednesday. Okay, we'll do it as a flexible. Um, and then once they go to the park for the first time, then the other four days are going to, to, going to carry through. Um, this one has canceled for any reason. Universal will put this on every single package automatically. So um, obviously, as you can see, even though we have two adults and two children, the cancel for any reason cost is the same no matter what. So there's going to be four adults at $44.95 each. You can edit or remove that. Early park admission, notice that you can't edit or remove this because since they are staying on the resort, that's an automatic. You can't take that off. And obviously, why would you want to? It gives them an extra hour in the park before other ticketed um, people are allowed in, right? And then the promotional savings applied, that just means that we're using a promotion on this particular booking. Now, let's say we want to look at different ticket options, like obviously the 30% off and we can't really change this because if we do try to change it, I'll show you here, it's going to give us an error. 
So let's say that we wanted to change to a five-day park-to-park pass. We choose our day, and then we click add to part or add to cart. It just made me a liar. Normally, it will tell me that it's going to change it and take the promotion off, but this time it let me update it. So, okay, good learning tool. Sometimes particular packages will not let you edit it, so therefore, um, it would normally give a little box here that says, um, you know, error, changing this, it might take your promotion away or whatever. But in this particular point, it says that we can do a five-day park to park instead. So I've added that on, and obviously our price has now increased, right? So we're now at three thousand nine hundred seventy-two dollars and thirty cents. Um, I use this category section quite a bit because as you can see, we have a ton of features, right? And we have a ton of different things. I mean, just little different options. They can be a matter of uh, one day or two day or one park or two park, right? So um, there's a lot of different stuff here. So I like to use my little um, boxes on the sides so like ground transportation. Remember, this is going to be from um, the airport to um, the hotel. So you can either do it to Port Canaveral or you can go to the airport. Um, if we need that, this particular trip, it's going to be $100 per person to get them round trip. I will tell you from experience, though, um, if you do a shuttle, I believe, I can't remember the name of the company right now, but the shuttle that runs through um, that area was like $40, I think, per person for us to get um, to the airport, which means it would have been $80 per person for round trip. So this particular time of year is probably why it's $100 a person because normally it'd be about $88, okay? So that is about normal. Um, also remember taxi cabs are available, Uber and Lyft are available. So just bet your client, see exactly what it is they're looking for and then just be sure that you have a plan for them to get from the airport to their resort. Um, there's nothing worse than getting to the airport and not knowing how you're going to get to your resort, especially if you've been traveling for quite a while that day. Um, quick transportation. Here's the Superstar shuttle. That's what I was looking for. Give me just a second here. There we go. So one way Superstar shuttle. This is from the airport to the resort hotel, 23 junior and then child. OK, so that this ground transportation right here, that's going to be like your private, um, like probably your SUVs, black cars, things like that. Um, Superstar shuttle. That's what we took. So that's a lot better. Eighty seven dollars. That's what I thought it was. OK, perfect. Um, so there's that. You can add that on. Um, you can do a two way transfer. Um, there's a lot of different options. Just find out what is best for you and your client. Go ahead and get that added to the cart. The reason I say to do this now too is A, there's two reasons, right? One, commission payouts, of course. Um, anything you book tickets wise, if you upgrade to mirrors, thank you, Yanni, it is mirrors. That is exactly the name of the shuttle. Um, I don't know why I was drawing a blank on that, but thank you so much. Um, so you can do um, increased commission, but also, um, it is very difficult or not very difficult, but it is not the easiest to be able to add it on after the fact. Um, and it can be kind of cumbersome for your clients. So just make sure we're doing everything we can, you know, and getting all these little small details. Hence the reason we're using a travel agency versus booking it ourselves, right? So we've added our, our shuttles. Um, Dining is another thing that's very um, popular for most people, especially because um, Florida is extremely hot, so the, the freestyle drinks are important. But unfortunately, just like the last training that I did, the dining plan for some reason has been taken off of the portal. So I have not called Universal. Um, I have not seen an update either as to why that's not available. But when I was there, you were able to do the freestyle cups as well. Um, so I'm just wondering if maybe they paused that again, maybe due to COVID. Um, I'm not totally sure. So for dining options at this point, we do have the Leaky Cauldron breakfast and the three broomsticks breakfast. Leaky Cauldron is at um, Diagon Alley. Three broomsticks is over in Hogsmeade. So they're two very delicious restaurants. Um, if you're not familiar with Universal, um, there are two parks now, right? So you've got your main Universal Florida park. Um, Yanni said it might become available again sometime in October. Um, so it's probably coming back. It's on a pause at some reason for some reason at this point. So, um, but the two parks, you have Islands of Adventure, which is where Hogsmeade is. And then you have um, Universal Florida, which is where Diagon Alley is. And then of course the water park is Volcano Bay. So that's kind of universal. Hogwarts Express, you do have to have a park to park pass to ride the Hogwarts Express. The reason for that is that 
you have um, the first station over in Universal Florida, and then you're riding over to Hogsmeade on the um, Hogwarts Express. So you are going to both parks because remember, Hogsmeade is in Islands of Adventure, Diagon Alley is in Universal Florida. So you do have to have a park to park pass or your guests will not be able to get on the Hogwarts Express. And that is quite a bummer because it's a really cool experience. It's also a different experience going from Diagon Alley to Hogsmeade than it is from Hogsmeade to Diagon Alley. So it's a really cool thing. Definitely say check it out while you're there, but you do have to have a park to park pass. You can add on a photo package. You can add on a VIP experience, your enhancement. Right now, we're going into Halloween, right? So Halloween Horror Nights, you can add those on. Uh, remember, the reason we use these categories over here is to kind of get things in and out. So if you want the photo package, it's per day. So you've got to remember that too. If they want it all four days, they're there. Make sure you do all four days. Otherwise, it's just going to be pick a day throughout their time, OK? For Halloween Horror Nights, for a single night ticket is $75.60. This is going to be in addition to um, the park pass, okay? So you can't just buy this for them and they get into Halloween Horror Nights. You do have to have a park pass for that day as well, okay? Um, you've got all of your information here. Let's see. Yeah, so it's the based off front gate price um, day of the event ticket at 122. So you do have to have that. So pricing information um, and then policy information. So there are any questions regarding what that ticket will cover. Okay, guys. So without going into like, you know, every single piece of it, just know that you can do all of this stuff. You, and, and their express passes are also different for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, we're going to go into the partner, um, community partner portal here in just a minute so you can see where the training is. So some of, more of this will make a little bit more sense. Um, but also, you know, keep in mind, all these different passes are different. So be sure that you're reading and learning what the pass is and also asking your client exactly what it is they're hoping to get out of their passes. Because if they're wanting, you know, the top of the top fast pass, you need to make sure you're getting, a, you know, the fear plus or whatever it is. Okay. So that's where that training really comes important or comes in play. Just like in a normal VAX um, reservation here or package, you know, this is how your booking administration is where you're going to see your commission. If you want to increase or decrease, let's say, you know, you want to add an extra $50. Well, you can add your extra $50, set your commission. It's going to increase your price here for your client. Okay. So you're passing on your total net price here. Um, but remember, this is where though we had a question earlier today, gross versus net, right? So your gross is what your client is actually going to pay the $4,109 and 30 cents. Um, that's going to be their total package price. Okay. Not the net price. So once you do that, if you did increase it through your uh, booking administration, then your total is going to fix itself up here, right? So $4,109.30. They want to do a pay monthly, that option's available. Um, email, print your uh, itinerary, create your sales email. You know, all of these options are normal, just like any other package that you would book on, on VAX, okay? Um, and yes, for, for big Harry Potter fans like myself, like Yanni said, I mean, you know, Hogwarts is, the Hogwarts Express is just, it's a must. You know, if you're going back and forth, I remember last time I went to Universal prior to this past June, it was 2013, I think it was, and the Hogwarts Express wasn't open yet. And I was so bummed. I was like, man, I want to get on that, you know, I want to get on the train, but I couldn't. So of course, when I went back in June, that was one of the first things we did. And I think I did um, from... Diagon Alley to Hogsmeade like four times. And I think I went from Hogsmeade to Diagon Alley like two or three times. I mean, it was just one of those things where it just, it's just a really, really cool experience. So this is going to be the vacation access or backs, um, you know, option going in and just booking it straight from here without going into the Universal portal itself. Okay. Any questions? How, yeah. Um, how so how do you get to that? How do you get to that in VAX? Because in, when I go into VAX, I don't have that option for universal. It's not available under suppliers? No, I have, the only thing I have under universal, uh, the, under suppliers that says, um, it says universal parks and resorts Orlando, Florida, but it doesn't say universal. You know, and, so and I, went, I went there 
Okay, so you're going to click on this one first, Universal Parks and Resort Vacation. Okay. It should come up to this screen here. Y yeah. And then when you scroll down, you're going to choose either Florida or California. Okay. And then click on Visit Supplier Showcase. Once you do that, it brings you to this screen. Great, because I was wondering, how in the world do you get there? I was like, <laughs> yeah, did that one work this time? Yeah, it's there. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Who else? Thought I heard another question. All righty. So uh, who has a magic wand? Oh, me? <laughs> yeah, I used my magic wand. Actually, fun story. I did actually do um, the... Uh, uh, Ollivander's wand experience that was really cool too if you can get that especially if you go with like younger kids and stuff which I mean I'm a huge kid at heart so I went by myself to ensure that I got chosen because when you go with a group it can be six of you and only one gets chosen um, you know if you've got two or three kids right around the same age you can usually talk to the wand shop attendant and let them know you know hey can we potentially do both and a lot of times they'll let you choose both kids but usually the the rule at Ollivander's is that out of your party one person gets chosen to actually go through the wand experience so I went by myself to make sure without a doubt that I was going to be able to be chosen um you're so welcome Blocka, for sure um have a happy weekend as well so now if we don't have any questions on that side of it I'm going to go into the partner community and we're actually going to cover not only how to book it, you know, from this side for your client, but also what perks you get as a travel agent. Um, so it is universalpartnercommunity.com. I'm already signed in, but normally you come up to a sign in screen um, and then you would log in, right? So this is going to show all of the operational updates for Hollywood and Orlando. So this is where it's going to tell us about like the dining plan, um, you know, not being on or whatever the case is or any type of updates here. So you can stay up to date. Um, I have a lot of people reach out to me for Universal. I book pretty, I mean, a pretty good, decent amount of them. Um, and so, you know, if there's any time where something new is changing or like the Velocicoaster when it came out, that would be here as well. You can learn all about your um, Hollywood fr or um, Fright Nights that are coming up, all that stuff, okay? So it's all gonna be here. Over here to the left, you're gonna have your different options. So home, training, sales tools, blog, collaborate. If I'm not mistaken, the blog is actually ran um, by Universal itself. Um, destination information, exploring Universal, support. This is where you would click on book now with Vax. It's going to take you directly to the Vax site that we were booking on instead of having to click on your supplier and then choosing, you know, from there. So that if you're logged into Universal partner community, you can actually just get here um, into Vax a lot faster and then having to go the other direction, which is how we did the first time, right? And then partner perks. So um, because we've already covered the VAX side and how to actually um, book your vacation through VAX, let's talk a little bit about our partner benefits and what we get um, as a travel agent, okay? Mine's going to look a smidge different because I've already used mine for this year, uh, but you do get one complimentary um, three-day, three-park-to-park, yeah, three-park, three-day, park-to-park complimentary ticket. That is for you and you only. They will check your travel agent ID. You must have an IATA or an IATAN or a CLIA card to be able to use that just like any of your other fan perks. Um, but they will check that every single time you go up to the gate. So if you leave the park and you come back four different times for the day, you're going to have to show your ID four different times. Um, as far as your um, discounted tickets, you do get four discounted. So 50% off of either a three park, three day park to park or a two park, three day park to park. And that is half off. Notice I only have three left because I used one of mine um, back in June. Okay. So use my complimentary one. And then the person that I was with, um, I got them a half off rate. And I did, I had to be there, I think, to pick up that ticket, um, but I did not have to be with them or to show ID um, going forward. Okay. Um, but so you get one complimentary three day, three, three park, three day park to park ticket and then four discounted three park or two park, three day park to park ticket, okay? And as you can see, I mean, it is definitely half off. That's a pretty good price there, right? 
The other thing is hotel benefits. So the hotel benefits are a little bit um, complicated, but again, I mean, you're still getting, you know, pretty much half off. It all depends on the season, but there's a lot more restrictions or rules, so to speak. Um, of how you can use this one. So notice it says up to 35% off the rack rates, up to 50% off rack rates at Cabana Bay Beach Resort, Adventurous Hotel, et cetera. My number one recommendation to you is to not really try to understand why this is, but just to go in, see about booking and see what your price would actually be, okay? Um, but here are the um, rules here. So it is based off of availability. Um, sales partners, which is what the travel agents are, that's what they consider us, are sales partners. You can book two rooms per night with a maximum of seven nights. So, I mean, if you want to take a big family, you know, if you have a big family and you want to take all of you or extended family or just friends or whatever, um, you can book two rooms per night for up to seven nights. Not combinable with any other discount or offers. It is non-commissionable. Um, you must have your IATAN, CLIA, TRUE, or ARC. If you do not have it and you do not provide it at check-in, your rate will absolutely revert back to the current available rate. Okay, guys? So don't book this, you know, thinking that, you know, you don't have to have a CLIA card or an IATAN card, that they're just going to honor it when you get there because they absolutely will not. They will increase that rate to the full market rate at that time. Okay. Um, so in order to book the hotel, it's a little bit um, kind of difficult to get into it, but once you do, it's pretty simple. So let's pick our dates, right? So let's say we're going to go October 13 through 18. We're going to have one room, two adults going, two children, update, update. And it's going to pull any of the resorts that are available. Also remember, um, Halloween is extremely, um, it's a huge event for Universal, which obviously is why there are no properties available, okay? So unfortunately, those days aren't going to work. Or now it is. Okay. So dockside and suites, 117 a night. Surfside, which again is the same thing, just on the other side of the road, and it's got a little bit different feel to it. Um, Cabana Bay Beach Resort and Aventura Hotel. And again, remember, all of these have different things, too. So like the dedicated walking paths um, from Cabana Bay and Aventura, whereas you have to get on a bus if you're staying at Dockside and, and Surfside and then Suites, okay? Just to kind of see the difference here, so we did October 13 through 18. So let's go back over here for a second. I'm going to do a create your own, so I don't have to worry about the number of dates or anything like that. But let's say... Um, October 13 through 18. Let's let that search. And yes, for your CLIA card, um, if you have applied for it, but you haven't received your physical card yet, you they do accept that as an electronic version. So you can print out a picture of it or you can just save it onto your phone or whatever. Um, and you can use that until you actually get your physical card in. Um, my point here was to see just the cost of the room. Let's see. So 65561. And how many nights was this? Four. Is that right? Five nights. Okay. So It's 131 a night is what it's going for for market. And remember, it's up to 35% off. So for this particular time frame in this particular room, you're saving about, what is that, $18 a night? Yeah. So, I mean, it may not be a huge deal, but it also, it just depends again on the time of year, right? So if we're going on an off season, let's say we want to go February 2nd through the 7th. I mean, you know, just pick a random ish time frame there i bet the prices are going to be probably a little bit different just because it's a little bit different time of year yeah see 89 dollars a night so that's almost half right so um it, it's all going to depend but also notice that we have a lot more um opportunity here too right and a lot of different um properties available so like lowest pacific or um royal pacific that's a free universal unlimited um express pass um, same thing for the Hard Rock Hotel, same thing for Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. Um, you know, so you've got different, um, 
perks, right, for staying at different properties. The low Sapphire Falls is a free water taxi or shuttle, including early park admission. Now, remember, again, all of these properties are going to have early park admission. It's just how it is. Um, so that is going to be there, but each, you know, different property has little different reasons or a little different perks as to why you would want to stay there. Cabana Bay, dedicate a walking path straight into Volcano Bay. So if you're going more so for the water park than you are the adventure, that might be the property you want to go stay at, right? Um, so that's the hotel benefit. Um, and just remember, you can do that. I think it's two rooms, two nights, up to seven nights. I'm pretty sure... I've not been able to find any different information here that these, the hotel rates that you can use, though there's not a, um, a cap on those. Whereas the tickets, you know, it's that one complimentary and, and four half off per 12 rolling months. I have not found anything yet that shows um, that you can only stay in their resorts for, you know, a certain amount of time frame. So um, if anyone were to ever find that, you know, and that changes, definitely correct me, please, and let me know. Um, and the other big thing is to remember that tickets must be requested a minimum of 14 days in advance. If it is not, you're probably not going to get it. So be sure you're planning ahead um, to make sure that your tickets will be approved. I haven't heard of anyone's being declined before. Um, I got mine approved and it was, I think, well, I, I want to say it was within three days. It wasn't very long at all. So, you know, but it does have to be at least 14 um, days in advance. Um, as far as your training for Universal, so in order to unlock these benefits, in order to unlock the um, discounts and the complimentary and the half off tickets and everything, you must complete their training. I want to say it took me two evenings, so probably three to seven hours, I think. Um, it's also been a little while, so don't quote me on that time. I but, also have it recorded. We did it online, oh. so it's on the YouTube also. Perfect. So Marnie has that recorded on her YouTube as well. So um, whenever we share this training, maybe we'll be able to link that one together too. Um, but you would just go into your, your uh, learning path. It's the Universal Orlando Training for Travel Agents. Um, and then you get a certificate, right? So that's the one that you, if you remember correctly on my, um, my Google page, that's the one that I added there. So I'm the, a specialist. Um, <clears throat> But it's a, if I remember correctly, it was a pretty simple, um, you know, quick training to get through. There are extra, obviously I have two in progress that I can take. Um, they have a lot of additional things down here. So, you know, if you need ADA information, that's, they've got a, a video about that. Um, Date-based pricing is very big with Disney and Universal. Um, hence the reason I went from, you know, October to, to February to show you the difference in pricing there. So their peak seasons really do make a huge difference there. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the specifics there, you can. I used the Universal app while I was there and it was like a, a lifesaver. Um, a little bit more information about the Endless Summer. So that's that Dockside and Surfside uh, Resorts because it is their newest resort that they've built. Um, you can learn a, bit, a little bit more about that. Their dining plans, um, Tapu Tapu, which is specifically for Volcano Bay. It's a waterproof bracelet. So it, it, can, it gets you all of your, your ticket info is linked to it, your payment info. So you don't have to worry about carrying um, credit cards or cash or anything like that. You can just tapu, you know, tapu tapu um, as you're going through the park and, you know, buy your drinks and stuff if you didn't get like the, um, the cup and whatnot. And then of course um, the hotels um, here too, just so you can learn a little bit more about each pro uh, property. It is a lot less to learn than say Disney. If you've done Disney certification, that one can take hours upon hours because they have multiple properties, a lot of differences between the properties too. Whereas Universal is a little bit more streamlined, I would personally say, you know, your early park admission, every single resort hotel that they have, um, your express passes are free at certain properties. So, I mean, you've got a few different things there. I um, mean, obviously each property is gonna have a little bit different um, um, amenities and, and, and feel, so to speak, for each of your clients and, you know, things like that. But for the most part, it's a little bit more streamlined there as well. So it is the Universal and You um, tr sales training program there. Um, and like I said, it goes by pretty quickly. And so if you are, you know, wanting to use your perk for that, definitely do the training, get your CLIA card, um, that sort of thing. It's, it's a wonderful time. Um, so that is the partner side of it. Um, like I said, there's a little bit more information here. You know, you've got sales tools. If you want some collateral, things like that, 
Um, they've got different youth programs, stuff like that. If you want like your um, park maps and stuff, you can view those prior to actually getting there too. I know, you know, especially if you're going with a ton of kids or anything, moms like to sit down and see exactly, you know, what part of the park different things are at so that she can see exactly where to go and you know, what's going to be quickest and dining options and things like that. So you have all of that information here. Um, they have a ton of materials. You can order materials. Um, you've got a desktop calendar, uh, current maps of the resorts, etc. You can see your orders as you're going. They did switch to a lot more, of, um, you know, online or digital collateral rather than um, physical material. So you'll find a lot more here than you will in the order material areas. But I mean, you know, there's a, a ton of information, a ton of things um, to do and that sort of thing. So any questions on the partner perks or anything we've gone through so far today? Did I lose everyone? Did everyone go to sleep? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So if there aren't any other questions, I mean, that is universal. Um, Google My Business, like I said, Google My Business can definitely go a little bit more in depth. Um, but universal is pretty much streamlined. It's pretty much, you know, kind of A to Z, one, two, three, you know, that sort of thing. Um, it, it pretty much walks you right through it. And like I said, Marnie, or like Marnie pointed out, she's got that um, training already recorded as well. So if you do need help or, you know, want to have a step by step to kind of go through and get that training and certification done, then we'll um, attach that with this video whenever we get it um, saved and distributed as well. But if there are not any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and end the recording for Universal. Um, thank you guys so much for coming today. And I'm glad that I could be here to help. Thank you very much.